Y'all is not gonna run into a lot of real shit out here, man. It's a real AP, real half a ticket, real eight of the Waki, real 50 bar. Thanks. I'm a real nigga and niggas really hoes. What's the deal, man? It's T Grizzly. You know I'm from the D and we love kicking it with our people. We love good food. We love bad bitches. So right now you watching dinner with Grizzly. Let's eat. Ah. Half a million on my neck. That's in there there. You watching dinner with Grizzly. I'm T Grizzly. Today we're gonna be talking about real shit and fake shit. I'm in here with my homegirl, Sophie. You broke up. Oh, I just recently broke up with my boyfriend, too. I have an idea. Have her DJ at one of your parties or something. She's gonna turn that bitch up. Yeah, let me play some T Grizzly. So, I'm gonna start off with the fake shit. I've been seeing a lot of bandwagon shit going on. You know? Like clout chasing. Exactly. When I wasn't a rapper, I'd be blowing their phone up type shit. I just wanna do a song. I'm a fan. I wanna do some music with you, bro. I wanna rap. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's like. Niggas acting like they fuck with me, all this bro shit. How do you feel about rappers that are fake and phony and they're snitching on their own crew? I don't fuck with no rats, period. But it's only one type of person who would tell that I would give a pass to. If you a stand-up citizen, never play no gangster shit, never try to do no street shit, and you tell, I can't be mad at you, you a stand-up citizen. But if you want some street shit and all this and that, then you automatically take an oath, you feel me? That's a good mindset, because like most people are like, no, you snitch, you're done, you snitch, like you're whack, like you deserve to die, whatever. If you're a street but, nigga, that's the case. But. but what about innocent people that are getting scammed <laughs> on their credit cards? They're innocent oh. people, like. See, they gonna get that back. They gotta get insurance. No, they're not. They gotta wait like 20 something years. Well, see, it could give your information out. <laughs> Cause this niggas already will make a living off that. So shit, you gotta protect that. You must have got scammed. No. You talking like no, you got I scammed. No, I want a scam. I want a scam and I can't. <laughs> That's why I'm hating right now. <laughs> nah. I ain't mad at the old lady next though. If she be like, yeah, them little boys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, them little boys playing soccer in the street and they might hit my car. No, them little like, boys came and shot my house up. Oh, okay, well then say that. <laughs> yeah, them little boys came and shot my house up. So are you one of those rappers like Young Jeezy to be like, I'm not a rapper? No, I'm definitely a rapper yeah. for sure. I'm gonna embrace that because that saved my life. Right, right. You know, I got the M's off the rap. I wasn't gonna see that nowhere else. So I'm, I'm gonna embrace that. There's a lot of street niggas coming in. There's been, I think, four shootings, killings within the industry. Do you think that has a lot to do with street dudes coming into the rap game? The fake friends Hell yeah. setting people up? Yeah, street dudes coming into the rap game definitely play a part in rappers dying because we street niggas and we making it and we going back to the hood and we still hanging around the same people and we still exposing ourselves to them niggas in the streets that hate and love us. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, all that going back to the hood, being a real nigga shit don't get you nowhere. I didn't try it. Like in LA, Nipsey, for example, he could open up a store and then move the community. Right. In Detroit, it's different. Right. I opened up a store in Detroit, they breaking in that motherfucker, they spray painting it. Right. They, we ain't shopping there, fuck that nigga, all this type of shit. It's just, I got. I come from a city that hate, hate on who winning. But, are you living for those people or are you living for you? I'm living for me. Okay, look, right, I got locked up when I was 19, when I was 13, all that type of shit. And I was just in that bitch. Nobody, just me and God. You know what I'm saying? Then I got into the streets. That became my family. And we be seeing so much shit and peeping so much shit, seeing so many people die and go to prison. That shit did something to us. So the old me that want to play and have fun and want to be happy as hell, I would feel selfish if I'd be so happy because people close to me didn't die. My mama locked up, my pops got popped up, little bro still locked up, and it got me fucked up. My pops, right, like my best friend, got killed. My my goal in life was to make him happy. I just want to make my pops proud of me. He do everything for us, I just want to make him proud of him like he did. And I was at the play my life like, I don't give a fuck how nobody feels. I don't really care about losing nobody. I, I, I won't hurt that much again. But what about your own family? You know, they like cool. You're they cool. No, but I'm saying starting your own family. Like, oh. you can't start your own family if you're like wrapped around, you know, your street family and your like family. You know, right. you know what I'm saying. So, you right. Where yep. do you be at now? Like, where? Atlanta. Atlanta. I don't fuck with nobody there. I don't. I was okay. going to house. Not that I got nothing. So you're like them. a really a loner. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Me too. So you ate today? No, I'm like, starving hey, though. Ah, this is a 41. 41. You can't afford one. What? Ain't you like 41? Boy. What you been doing, bro? Boy, Same niggas that ain't wanna pass the torch to us. Remember? Thank wanna you. jump in on Bentleys and ride. You cross, nigga. 
So how did they invent this food right here, this plant? What we'll made people start frying bananas? I mean, I'm Greek, so I have no idea. You Greek? Mm-hmm. So I mean, you from where? Greece. Um. I like soul food the best. This is kind of close. This ain't close right now, so. Fish. Hell no. And collard greens. What is this? This got to be collard greens. for sure ain't collard greens. This fucking chicken is not fucking coming off of the bone. You got a butter knife though. Okay. Maybe you there. can do it. Damn. This is your fork. She's gonna just do a quick touch up. Don't look down, though, okay? okay? Have you been? You have been. I have been what? You've been looking down. I ain't been looking down. Yeah, you look down. Gentleman. What kind of man doesn't? Obama himself would do it. I'm a gentleman. I don't do that type of stuff without permission. You're so different. Yeah, we're gonna cut. All right, cutting. This is actually not that bad. No, it's good. I fuck with it. I'm scared of that fish, though. I'll try it if you do. But you got a pinky swear you're gonna try it. What is it now? What is it now? It's really good. I'm supposed to open the bottle? Yeah, for fun. And splash it all on strippers. <laughs> <laughs> really using a butter. <laughs> nah, I did what you told me now. <laughs> Cheers to staying away from the fake and the foamy. Bingo. We have to look each other in the eye. <laughs> That's bad luck if you don't look somebody in the eye. Yo! I don't know if I should say this on camera. For C's with it. She on her knees, get it. Audemars got my sleeve dripping. Fuck that speed limit. We got them hoes bragging. That bitch a whole wreck. I want to tell you this off camera. I want to see you first. Kick it. We gonna kick it? Yeah, yeah. What's up? You want some dessert now? Yeah, I do. Can we get some dessert in here? What would you say your favorite dessert is? Mint chocolate chip. What's your favorite dessert? Mint chocolate chip. No, I'm talking shit. Ah. I'm talking butter pecan ice cream. <laughs> what you know about that mint chocolate chip? I ain't never had it. This shit look exotic. This shit don't look exotic. It looks like my hair. This shit tastes like hair. <laughs> Whose hair? Mm -hmm. What's up, though? You just watched Dinner with T Grizzly. Y'all have another album called Scriptures. This another summer. album? Mm -hmm. Did you know that you're my second favorite rapper? Don't be telling me that because we on this show. No, I'm talking shit. <laughs> Who your first favorite rapper? <laughs> Who I'm behind? Young Jeezy. Okay. Like, Jeezy retired, right? Right. So I guess that bumped me up to number one right. automatically. No, no, no. That's, you feel me? That's facts, though. What's a T Grizzly bar that could be used as a figure line? I'm thinking about eight from A to the T. <laughs> Sound of 556. Yeah. yeah. Say it again. Say it again. 550, 600 hundreds, 720 <laughs> Let's just straight to it. No hey. <laughs> Look, you know something. I told you. Thank you for having me. For sure. Little hands. I know, and they're so cold. <laughs> we gonna kick it. Mm. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Yeah.